I'm JP Lamb, and today's episode of Narihodo, we're gonna learn about Japanese sumo wrestling. And my guest today really needs no intro, but he's the first foreign sumo champ, Konishiki. Let's take a look. Konishiki san, thank you so much for your time today. How did a Samoan boy like you, born and raised in Nanakuli, get to Japan and get into sumo? By accident. Uh, everything uh, happened by accident. I um, actually was cutting out of class, was there to actually catching some waves in Waikiki when somebody walked up to me and said, hey, are you that number 79 that played for Pac-5? Because I played football for Pac-5 for three years in a varsity team, and then yeah. So you should be a sumo wrestler, I told him. Nah, I don't know what is that. I, I haven't, I don't know what sumo is, I never watched sumo. You know, many of us see the sumo world on TV, but what was daily life like in a sumo stable? Uh, once you join sumo at a young age, uh, you're supposed to live in a stable. Majority of them do live in the stables. And a daily life is like, if you're from the bottom, everything is seniority. So the youngest boy has to do, he has to get up early and train. When the older guys get up, he has to go, he, his time is done, so he has to go up. If you're not high rank, you're actually under somebody, like an apprentice, most of the time, or majority of the time, I, you can say. So presently we have, when I joined Sumo, we had about 54 Sumo stables. We had about uh, close to a thousand active Sumo wrestlers. You were the largest Sumo wrestler of all time. Can you tell us what was your daily diet like? Well, for us, people were hard to believe, but we only eat two meals a day. We're not allowed to eat breakfast. Because practice is at 4.30, when I joined Sumo, practice at 4.30. And practice done like 11, 11.30 every day. So our first meal is lunch, so everything is big. You eat hungry, you eat tired, so it's like naturally you're gonna eat and you're gonna sleep, so that's why you keep your weight on. Chanko Nabe is something, it's like a stew that we make. Basically the, um, the broths, the soup is can, can change from kimchi, can change to shoyu base, uh, salt base, uh, many different, but the ingredients are like a lot of vegetables, a lot of protein. And actually, you, the more you train, the bigger you get because your body just take a lot of pounding, a lot of hitting, a lot of push-ups, a lot of workout. But I was naturally big, I just got bigger, you know, as a Samoan kid. Well, Konishiki-san, thank you so much for your time today. Arigatou Thank you for having me, man. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks so much for watching this episode of Naruhodo. This has been part one of a two-part conversation we're having with Konishiki-san, so be sure to look out for part two coming soon. Until next time, I'm JP Lamb.